Mixing different genres has always felt scary. Some DJs even avoid it completely because it can kill the energy of your mix or just sound wrong. But if you're a DJ that plays at weddings and different events, there's no way around this. You're gonna end up having to play different genres. Well, what if you could go from trap to pop ballads and still sound good? I'm gonna show you I'm a pro. I'm gonna take my time and turn it up just so I can turn you In this video, I'll show you how I mix completely different genres using DJ Studio. You'll see three specific techniques for mixing across big BPM shifts and totally different styles. Now, DJ Studio makes it all surprisingly easy. Last technique is specifically cool because we're gonna be using features no other program has. So let's get right into it. So part one, let's start by building a multi-genre DJ set using trending songs. I'll be using a mix of viral songs right now. So let's click on charts and let's choose some songs from the top 50. I'm gonna quickly filter everything out by key and I'm gonna choose two completely different songs I think we can use this one by Lola Young you guys have heard this on, on TikTok, and I'm gonna choose this one on top as well because they have the same key but they're different genres yeah, these two songs are completely different BPMs, so we're gonna choose these two. We're bringing about six tracks across different genres. We currently have two, so let's look for other four. So we've chosen six tracks, some pop, some ballad, some rap, some reggaeton, some sort of indie rock, as well as some EDM kind of thing. So let's load them up. Simply click on add tracks to mix. My favorite part about this is that I don't even have these files on my computer. DJ Studio supports several integrations and for practice or structure building, you can start working with tracks like these before you even own them. So we're not starting from scratch here. So let's move on to the next step. So part two, DJ Studio lines them up in a timeline that shows waveforms, key information, beat grid, Software automatically suggests transitions between songs, but every part is customizable. Let me show you. Zoom in just a little bit and you'll notice this blue bars between the end and beginning of every song you just loaded. If you click on it, and then click on transition, you'll notice it includes two transition effects. One of them called crossfade, which is a volume that goes down and the volume that goes up, and also a bass swap. And as the name suggests, this is when you swap your basses like this. DJ Studio has categories for transitions, equalizer, which includes volume, bass, mid frequency transitions, and high frequency transitions, as well as effects, like using a filter, noise, effects in, effects out, even sidechain. And it also includes stem transitions, but we're gonna be talking about that in the third technique, okay? You can also save your own presets. Everything about this is customizable. There are a ton of options to choose from, which means you have the opportunity to make transitions that sound exactly just as you want them to sound. Right on our timeline, there's also a tempo lane. Let's click on it to make it a little bit bigger. This lane controls the global BPM across the entire mix. This is super important for smooth transitions between genres, especially when the BPM jump is big. With DJ Studio, you can drag your songs. Any track you load in can be reordered, extended, cut, sliced, looped. This flexibility is one of DJ Studio's strongest features. DJs looking to do more creative slash unconventional mixes. So let's move on to the next step so we can learn about our first technique. Technique number one. Let's start with the simplest way to switch genres. Echo out and drop in. For this example, I'm going from a pop song into a sort of ballad. <laughs> two tracks have a different BPM, but we chose the exact same key, which will always make any transition sound better. Let's find a part of the first song that makes sense for doing an echo out. I think it's going to be around here. Yeah, around here is fine. Let's drag our transition all the way back somewhere around here. As you can see, there's actually a preset called echo out. So let's click on it, see what it does. Let's listen to it. I don't really like the way that sounds. I think we can uh, move our echo all the way here. See how that sounds now. Okay, that's sounding a little bit better, but it's not there yet. Yes, we clicked on the preset, but you can always customize any preset you click on. Uh, there's also an equalizer effect happening and it's a fade in. Let's keep it at crossfade, but see how that sounds. Can definitely improve this transition by creating a manual volume automation so we can put this down and then 
pull it forward because I only want the second song to start when I want it to start. Now this tempo change that our preset did sounds a little bit too forced. So let's click on path. So the automation starts going up when our echo ends. If you want to take this even further, it's always good to automate those bass frequencies. Let's do a swap fade. Let's see how that sounds. Remember, you can always change the position of any of the songs in case you feel like you might not be making the best transition ever. So what if we pull this back a little bit? Something like this. Let's see how this sounds like. This change makes the echo out go straight into another rhythm and I think it sounds pretty good. This first technique, it's simple, it works, and it avoids awkward overlaps. You're essentially resetting the energy while keeping the flow intact. That's what we're trying to do here, reset the energy. This technique is great for newer DJs or moments where genres are a little bit too different to blend together. Move on to part four of this video so we can learn technique two. Now, let's get more advanced. DJ Studio's tempo lane allow us to change BPMs across multiple songs. This makes it possible to go from a 128 BPM track to a 90 BPM track seamlessly without taking a break like we just did. With this example, let's automate a tempo lane that slows down over time. From this song to this song. Let's first make this transition longer. And in order to do that, we can simply click on the edge of the transition and just widen it up. I think somewhere around there is fine. And now we can move the song we want to transition to. Something around there is fine. I'm just trying to make sure everything just lines up. DJ Studio makes our tempo switches extremely easy because you can visually see what's going on. Our default transition, our equalizer, volume, etc., sounds a little bit too rushed in my opinion. So let's make it sound more natural. Make sure to click on your transition tab. And then we have two things. We have crossfade for the volume and then we have bass swap at zero. So I don't think I want that fade in or something like that, like slowly introduce our bass line. I think that's gonna be good. Let me give you a quick pro tip. Our second song is very vocal heavy and vocals are mostly mid frequencies. So how can we introduce this song in a better way? A mid fade in would definitely work for us. So let's click on fade in. We can put it at 75%, something like that. This way, the vocal from the second track is gonna come in smoother. Volume wise, do we really want this crossfade at 150? We should keep it at 25, something like that. If you actually notice, both songs have a different key. However, it should not stop us because what we did just now should sound good. Let's listen to what we made. That sounds really good to be honest. The result is a seamless BPM transition that will require a lot of practice and planning beforehand if you were to play this live. Let's move on to the next part. So we're now at part five, technique three, and things get really interesting. DJ Studio lets you apply transitions to individual stems vocals, drums, bass, and so on. That means you can crossfade the drums, but instantly swap the vocals while keeping the low end intact. Let's say I wanna go from a trap song to a pop ballad. Normally, that would kill the energy, but by isolating the vocal stem and filtering out the percussion, I can create a moment that feels intentional. Stem level transitions are basically custom mashups, giving you control that goes beyond standard EQ or crossfades. This is one of the features that sets DJ Studio apart from any other program out there. These two tracks have a complete different key. So we're actually gonna change it this time. So we're gonna transpose it to 10B, which is the one on top. In order to get our stems, we simply need to click on show stems, which is actually here, show stems. Once we separate all stems, let's change our tempo lane to be a longer transition. So it feels a lot smoother because right now it's uh, very sudden, I feel like. So let's listen to this with a slower BPM change. I'm noticing the second song since it's played live isn't exactly beat matched. So we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna adjust the full grid so it hits exactly when it needs to hit. We could probably do the same to this one, just a tiny bit, and now everything is on bid. But now, 
Let's take this transition to the next level. My suggestion for stem transitions slash mashup kind of thing is to mute every stem from the second song and slowly introduce each. That way you'll get a better picture of what you're doing, you know? So I'm gonna mute the vocals, mute the melody, and mute the bass from the second song and see what can we do to make this sound better. So let's listen to this. I honestly really like the way it sounds so far. Let's try using crossfade for our drums. Now, at the bass, let's see how this sounds just like that. Yeah, it sounds good. This sounds really good, I gotta be honest. I think for the melody, we definitely have to add something else. We can't keep it at full. We can do something like crossfade. I'm gonna make this transition shorter. I don't think I want the Kendrick Lamar melody to go away that fast. So we're gonna make this way shorter, like possibly just four bars. It just feels like a sort of sweep. Yeah, something around here is gonna work. For our vocals, something's definitely gonna clash. So my suggestion for this would be to listen to crossfade, see how it sounds like. Maybe if I make the vocal transition shorter, like just a tiny sweep. Now let's make this vocal just go away the last second, you know, something like this. So let's listen to this. I think, I think this is the end result, okay? So let's listen to this. We just transitioned from a rap song to a pop ballad and it actually sounds emotional and intentional. Wow, I think this sounds amazing, to be honest. This mix is ready to be heard by fans. So let's move on to exporting on the next step. So part six, once your genre blending set is ready, you can go to master and adjust your overall gain and compression. Some of these tracks are super low in volume. Some of them are super loud. So doing this will help you out when exporting. So everything sounds more concise. For example, uh, this Kendrick Lamar song. We can probably add a little bit more compression. Yeah, we can probably add like 10%. Sad some compression to this one too. This is super helpful when you're mixing songs from different sources and different genres. Once you're happy with the gain and compression of each song, you can now click on export, name it multi genre mix. You can choose three different file types as well as export as video so your fans can listen to your multi-genre mixes instantly. <laughs> Not only that, but you can also export it as a DJ set for Rekordbox or a playlist or Serato, as well as publish it directly to Mixcloud or DJ Studios examples. So other people can learn from those awesome multi-genre mixes you're gonna be making after watching this video. So that's how I use DJ Studio to mix completely different genres into a cohesive set. Whether you're moving from pop to trap to reggaeton to EDM or something totally unexpected, this software gives you the tools to make it smooth, creative, and clean. Let me know in the comments what crazy genre combos I should try next. And if you want to try DJ Studio for yourself, check the link in the description. Genre boundaries? Not a problem anymore. I'm JS Car and I'll see you in another DJ Studio tutorial. I can tell you I'm gonna make you say love. I'm not even tripping, I won't stress you out. I might even settle down for you. I'm gonna show you I'm a pro. I'm gonna take my time and turn it up just so I can turn you on.